he's doing well. Steve, there were a couple examples in game one of uh, players talking trash or just reacting emotionally. You know, uh, I think Jaws said something. Clay talked about how he got so exuberant after the game that Andre had to calm him down. I'm just curious in your history, how much that goes up in the playoffs, just the demonstrativeness, the emotion, obviously the stakes are higher. So does that lead to more of that kind of extracurricular yeah. stuff? Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, this is what it's about this is what everybody plays for all year. And, um, there's a lot of emotion out on the floor and, um, both teams are going to express that and it's going to be a lot of highs and lows. And, you know, you just got to be able to, uh, navigate through that, hopefully not get too high or too low. And uh, that's why Andre did what he did with Clay. Hey, Coach, uh, defensively, uh, how close are you to reaching your peak, to, to your uh, expectation? I know you're never going to be perfect defensively, but how close are you getting to your peak? Well, it's a tough uh, question to answer because there's a lot of things that, that factor in. Um, I, I was... Uh, happy with the, the effort the other night, especially in the face of uh, Draymond's ejection and changed our lineups, changed our rotations. So um, the guys fought and competed and, and uh, paid attention to the game plan. So that's that's all we can ask. What are some of the things you you emphasize on offensively when you're, when you're moving the ball the way that you guys do? What are some of the things you emphasize when you try to you know, take away some of their, you know, they lead the league in steals and things like that. Take away some of those opportunities from yeah. them. It's amazing, you know, when you get to this level, the highest level of basketball, um, you end up reverting to the most basic of fundamentals. You know, um, sometimes in the NBA, you uh, guys are so good that they, you know, maybe, uh, you know, don't don't think about some of those basics, but when you when you play at this level with this kind of athleticism and and speed and force um it all comes back to the basics you know taking care of the ball and picking the ball up getting it out of pressure finding the open man moving the ball to the next guy the game is the game is the game it just happens to be played uh, a lot faster and more athletically than than ever before um it's right here are you feeling are you feeling generous have to ask no Fair enough. Um, Clay Thompson today kind of talks about this group still having, still feeling like there's something that they need to prove. Um, do you feel like this team, after everything it's accomplished over the last like 10 years or whatever, still has something to prove? Yeah, I, I think um, that just speaks to Clay's competitiveness. And, um, you know, I don't think any, any of us feel like resting on our laurels. And, and um, it's nice to have you know, championship banners in our building and, and rings at home, but um, the quest for um, another banner, another ring is, um, is what drives everybody. So um, if anything, maybe, you know, having won championships gives you a deeper level of confidence when you get into the fight in the playoffs, but it also fuels the motivation to do it again because it, it's so rewarding about Wiggins' ability to kind of move up and to power forward spot uh, and when you go small. Clay's doing the same. He's, you know, he's on Brandon Clark on that last play, obviously switching off. But how much is your ability to go small predicated on Clay's ability to play some bigger players, some very much bigger players? Yeah, both Clay and Wiggs are uh, really uh, important in that sense. You know, playing faster, sleeker lineups, you have to be able to uh, – you know, to be able to deal with physicality and, and size. And uh, both guys are really strong. They're, they're uh, stronger and bigger than you think. Um, so they are really important in this matchup and, and in any matchup, really, um, because of their ability to guard different positions. At a last game, but they were off to a really good start on the glass. Is there an added emphasis to kind of improve there this game and kind of slow down their pace so you can up your pace also? Uh, we just know that they're coming with a lot of physicality and um, they've already made that clear in uh, through the media and, and um, I'm sure privately. And, um, you know, it's one of their strengths as a team is just their, their rebounding, their block shots, their, um, you know, steals, all the hustle points that come with great energy and force. So that's what they're coming with tonight. So we got to be ready for that.
Thanks.